I would like to solve this problem first. I need to evaluate our current flowing through R5 and voltage across it. Have a look at this circuit R1, R2, R3 and R4 are in parallel and R7 is the equivalent resistance of these four resistors and R7 is equal to 4.8 ohm. We can replace all of them with R7 and after redrawing the circuit, the circuit looks like this R7, R5, R6 these are the three resistors which are in series and you can easily solve this series circuit R equivalent is the simple addition of these three resistors 4.8 plus 5 ohm plus 50 ohms and we get 59.8 ohm which is the equivalent resistance of this circuit now we need to calculate current flowing through R5 and in the series circuit current remains the same I is calculated with the help of Ohm's law I is equal to V1 upon R equivalent and it is calculated as 0 0.334 ampere in series circuit current remains the same so current flowing through R5 is 0 0.334 ampere now for voltage flow across R R5 we use Ohm's law V R5 is equal to I multiplied by R5 substitute values and we get voltage across R5 is 1.67 volts we can check our calculations with the help of multi-sim live so let's go to multi-sim live this is the circuit to calculate voltage place voltage probes we need to get voltage of R5 place the reference probe at the other end for current place the current probe the current probe is here simulate the circuit You can see V is equal to 1.67 and I is equal to 334 mA or with the help of calculation we get 0.334 mA. Amperes. You can write in either way. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video I am going to show you how to calculate any current and voltage across this type of circuit for example let's suppose I need to evaluate current flowing through R3 and voltage across R3 so let's get started first of all I need to evaluate the total current and the equivalent resistance once I get equivalent resistance I can able to find out total current flowing through this circuit the method of finding equivalent resistance will remain the same as I discussed in previous two videos so let's begin R5 and R6 are in parallel and R2 and R3 are in series and we can replace it with a single resistor R8 which is equal to um, uh, to 6 ohm and we also evaluate the equivalent resistance of the, the parallel combination that is R5 and R6 R2 is in series with R8 uh, R3 and R8 is the equivalent resistance of these two resistors 
and R8 is equal to 6 ohm. Similarly, R5 is in parallel with R6 and R8 is the equivalent resistance of these two resistors. R9 is equal to 2 ohm. So, we replace R2 and R3 with R8 and R5, R and R6 with R9 which is equal to 2 ohm and R8 is equal to 6 ohm. Now, R4 and R9 are in series and their equivalent is equal to 4 ohm. Let's see draw the circuit. R4 is in series with R9 and R10 is the equivalent resistance of these two resistors and R10 is equal to 4 ohms. This is the, this, the circuit. Now R10 and R8 are in parallel and R11 is the equivalent resistance which is equal to 2.4 ohm. Now finally we get the circuit and it, the total resistance is very simple 4 ohm plus 8 ohm and 2.4 ohm which is equal to 14.4 ohms. So the equivalent resistance of this resistor is uh, this uh, network is 2.4 ohm sorry 14.4 ohm R equivalent we replace these three resistors with R equivalent what is the value of I with the help of Ohm's law I is equal to 1.7 ampere we get R equivalent which is equal to 14.4 ohm and the total current is equal to 1.7 ampere so we need to calculate the current flowing through R3 let's move up we need to evaluate current and voltage flowing through R3 R3 is connected between this node and this node we replace r3 and r2 with r8 this node r8 is equal to r3 and r2 so this is an important resistance because we need to evaluate the value of r3 so and voltage across R3 and this node is important as well mark these nodes let's again move forward mark these two nodes because we need to evaluate voltage across these two nodes mark this node and this node because is equal to R2 plus R3 R3 similarly again this node and this node done this node calculate voltage across this node with the help of voltage divider method I am going to calculate voltage across R11 with the help of voltage divider method so V11 that is voltage across R11 is equal to R11 divided by RT multiplied by the total voltage that which is equal to 25 volts VT let's substitute values and get V11 so V11 is calculated as 4.2 volts now after this step we will move upward because we need to 
evaluate voltage across R3 and R3 is in R8. We calculate the voltage across this node because R11 is the parallel combination of this R8 and R10. This is R11. So at this node we calculate voltage which is 4.2 volts so R8 has a voltage drop of 4.2 volt and it is further divided in R2 and R3 so let's calculate voltage across R3 because we need to find out voltage across R3 let's move upward we have calculated the voltage of this node actually which is 4.2 volt we have calculated voltage of this node that is this node and this node voltage across R8 is equal to voltage across R11 which which is equal to 4.2 volts now R8 is now uh, splitted in R2 and R3 and we need to evaluate voltage across R3 only so with the help of voltage divider method we get voltage across R3 with the help of voltage divider method we can get voltage across R3 so this is the total voltage which is 4.2 volts and the equivalent resistance so voltage across R V3 uh, that R3 is equal to V3 which is equal to R3 divided by R2 plus R3 and the total voltage across these two resistors R2 plus R3 and total voltage across these two resistors which is equal to 4.2 volt 4.2 volts that is the voltage at this node the voltage at this node so I hope you understand after calculating we get you can get the value of current with the help of Ohm's law I is equal to I3 that is voltage uh, current flowing through R3 is equal to V3 divided by R3 very simple divided by R3 the I3 is equal to times 7 amperes we can check these values with the help of multisim we first of all i need to evaluate the current point through r3 let's simulate which is equal to 694 milliampere and we have calculate the same value Similarly, voltage drop across R3 that is 3.47 volt and we calculate 3.5 volts which is approximately same. I hope you understand this example. I calculate, I place the current probe as well and now let's simulate. So we get almost the same results. We get 7 ampere or 694 milliampere. Both are same and you can write in either way, either in milliampere format or in amperes. Similarly, the voltage is also same 3.47 with the help of simulations and we get 3.5 volt with the help of calculation. So it is almost same.